Good morning, everyone. How are you today? Good. My name is James, as Jason mentioned, and I'm excited and privileged to have this opportunity to talk with you today. It's been a great weekend so far, and I look forward to the rest of today. And ladies and gentlemen, one thing that's fantastic for me is that everyone here shares something in common. We believe in the value of learning, and that's the reason we're here today. Now, something I wonder, I wonder, are you like me and wondering what's that one golden strategy that you can use to support all language learners? Well, if you have, I certainly have, and I think I've got it. I believe that when students, then when we support students' learning experience, that language learning will thrive. Now, when I look back at my teaching experience, I've been part of more than 30 homeroom classes. Now, one thing is certain, that every room that I've been part of is different. Different students, different teachers, different ways of doing things. But one, another thing is also certain, that no matter how different every room that I've been part of, every room can be effective. Now I know what it's like to be in the homeroom position. I spent three years as a grade one teacher. And it feels good. You're in charge of the learning. You're the pilot. You're making the decisions about what's going to happen next. You're flying the learning experience. It's a lot to think about. In fact, teachers make between 1,200 and 1,500 decisions every day. Many of those decisions are unplanned and unprepared for. That's a lot to take in. I always remind myself when I'm feeling overwhelmed to pause and think. There has always been challenges. There's always been challenges for teachers to think about. And immediately, I feel better. Now, as a co-pilot, what can I do best? How can I best frame my thinking to support the learning experience? The learning experience. At NIST, as a community, we've defined learning as the continuous process of acquiring knowledge, skills, and understanding through the creation, modification, reinforcement of connections in the brain. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that when we support the learning experience, that language learning thrives. And I know this because I know a few things about language learning. Number one, that thoughts matter the most. If we think we can do something, that feels good. And when that feels good, we can visualize us being able to do that, that we have a go. We give it a go. And when I'm thinking about supporting language, when I'm thinking about supporting teachers, when I'm co-piloting the learning experience, I think about how can we stage lessons? How can we provide the steps for students to put their comfort zone aside, look ahead to the next step, and move in that direction? G1 is a student who joined us at NIST this year, and she thought for the first semester that she would get laughed at if she shared her thoughts. She thought that when she spoke, that maybe people wouldn't understand what she had to say. She felt bad about that. So she did not speak much at all. I met with her parents in October, and we talked about this, and her parents helped me communicate with her that, G1, you're in a supportive class. You've got teachers who love you and friends that care deeply. If you have a go at trying to talk, are people going to laugh at you? She says, no. I said, how does that make you feel? Pretty good, she says. I said, well, well then, if you're feeling pretty good because you know your class is supporting you, what can you do? And she's like, well, I could talk some more. And I'm happy to report that G1 is now communicating every day in class this, this term, and she's having a great success. Point number two I want to make is that authentic experiences engage the brain the best. Ladies and gentlemen, language learning is not isolated in a single part of the brain. And we know this from neuroscience, that language is throughout the brain. 
And it's engaged best when we engage the entire experience of learning, when we engage the, the senses. Now, how does this help me frame my thinking? What lens do I use when I'm planning for lessons, when I'm co-piloting the planning process? I think about supporting with an authentic context. Does that mean we're building on from what's happened in the previous lesson or the previous day? Or are we extending that? Or are we looking ahead to the week or month moving forward and looking at how can we build those connections for students? Connections is my third point, that making connections is essential. The weed is essential action number one can reinforce that, that capitalize on the resources and experience that EALs bring to school to build and enrich their academic language. But not just their academic language, but build their learning experience. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to put forward that we need to hang the language learning with strong connections. That we hang it from one day to the next. That we're engaging the brain, making children feel comfortable that what they think matters most, that the experience is authentic, and that we're hanging learning on strong connections. Now tomorrow, when you're back at schools and the rubber hits the road, how are you going to co-pilot the learning experience? Are you going to believe like me? I believe that when we support students' learning experience, their language learning thrives. Thank you.